All right. So uh, this is my, um, I, this is the A to D card. I forget what this card is called. Uh, but anyway, it has the, uh, the dual slope integrator on it, I believe. And uh, right here in the center is this big package. There's two big packages, but the biggest package is the infamous chip that always goes bad on these uh, things. So I still don't know if mine is bad or not. It might be. Haven't got there yet. But I do know I've been talking about these EL2018s, and there's, there's three of them on this board. There's one here, and there's one here, and there's one over here. And uh, so Agilent knows about those. And when they get sent in for repair, they can't buy those parts anymore. So, and this particular custom chip here, you can't buy that one either. So what do they do? What do they do if you send your board in for re repair? Here's a more modern board. Um, and uh, if you look closely over here, there's a funny little thing going on over here. There's a funny little thing going on. So these are two daughter cards. Uh, there's a daughter card at the lower left here that replaces two of the 2018s. And there's a daughter card here in the middle that's giant that uses this big giant FPGA and a bunch of other chips to do a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so that's how they fixed that problem. They just invented a whole nother big board to put in there and some other voltage regulators and stuff. Anyway, pretty crazy stuff, but that's what they got. Anyway, I was interested in this little board here though that did the, uh, the, 2018 replacements. And here's a picture of that board up close. Uh, it replaces two of the chips all on one board because that EL2252 chip is a dual. It's basically two of those other things kind of put in the same package. So this is the way they did it. So I thought, well, it might be a fun little board to lay out anyway. So let me see if I can recreate this board. So here's the data sheet for the EL2018. And uh, here's what it's got. It's got a digital pin ground. It's got inputs. It's got a latch enable, a chip select, um, which aren't necessarily used, those two things. Um, let's take a look at another part. So this is the uh, 2252. It's a dual comparator. And it's got two comparators in the same package and it's got some stuff in it. <laughs> and they use this to replace the other two. So that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. All right. So we're over here in KiCad and uh, this is the board I'm going to design. It replaces those two EL2018s with a EL2252 chip. And that's the way I'm going to wire it up. I think that's the correct wiring. And it includes two bypass capacitors, but that's how I think it's supposed to be. And here's the board. Uh, and it's uh, measured and everything. It should be pretty well a drop-in for that Agilent board. So if you need to uh, fix yours, then this board might come in handy. So, yeah, I say we, uh, I say we send this off to get it made. <laughs> 